How is the AHCW universe doing? I am Waldog, and welcome back to another episode of Weekend Warriors. And so this is the second episode of where I do two shows an episode, because one just seems too short, and then, like, that means that I've done a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13, 14, oh, that's weird. Okay, oh yeah, there was also one more. It was, uh, last episode, there was a lot of, uh, people, but there wasn't enough, because we didn't beat our best show yet, which was Detroit Lions Lee vs. Rey Mysterio, but the next show after this show will be the best show. And so here you go with the matches, the first match is being Stone Cold vs. Bret Hart. Bret Hart being 11-8, to and Stone Cold 7-4. to Stone Cold was in the last episode, I'm pretty sure. I feel like doing two shows an episode makes it look better. So I'm rooting for Stone Cold to win. Here we go, and Bret Hart wins against Stone Cold. Uh, now he's 12 to whatever he was before. He's climbing the cage again. Will he jump off? Uh, no, he just climbs off. In the preliminaries of Master Martial Arts card before 2013 fans, Bret Hart made Stone Cold submit by stoppage in the first round. Bret Hart's profile has arisen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Stone Cold's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight as well. Alright, next match is Victor Bedford versus Baby Bull. Baby Bull being one of the men from the original roster, and he still is here. He is one of the best. He used to be a world champion for a bit until... Uh, when did he hold it, actually? I wonder. Oh, he pretty much... Yeah, he had a rivalry with Big Bob Orson at, at one point. That was a pretty good rivalry. He should have a rivalry with Cena. I feel like I might make that happen. Okay, so yeah, Victor Redford versus Baby Bull. I'm rooting for Baby Bull. Baby Bull had a had potential to become the face of the company, but I feel like if he if he's in the heavyweight, I feel like he should go to like the middleweight or the lightweight because he's not gonna work out in the in the, in the heavyweight. So Baby Bull, come on, buddy. And Victor Bedford wins in a three star match. Baby Bull lost. In the preliminaries of the Mats Martial Arts card before 3,643 fans, Victor Bedford beat Baby Bull by two rounds to one. Baby Bull's rank has fallen to number 13 after losing that fight. Victor Bedford's rank has climbed to number 6 after winning that fight. And here we go with the next match. It's a women's match. AJ Lee versus Vile Aunt. Vile Aunt being 8-4 to four and AJ Lee being 5-3. to three. Her toughness is terrible compared to all of her other stats. Here we go, I'm rooting for AJ Lee. And Violon wins by stoppage in a five-star match. In the preliminaries of the Mats Martial Arts card before 5,497 fans, Violon beat AJ Lee by stoppage in the second round. Violon's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. AJ Lee's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight as well. And here we go, Jordan Osborne is back. Wait, why is Baby Bull fighting twice the, twice in the night? He's facing Hulk Hogan. When did that happen? That's not good. Baby Bull let him better win one of these matches. So yeah, Jordan, Jordan Osborne versus Black Oz. Jordan Osborne was a man who had the potential of being the face of the company, but he lost against Driver88 in the tournament. So Jordan Osborne is 31-8, to and Black Oz is 6-3. to Jordan Osborne has, I don't think he's won any matches in the company yet. But come on. And Black Oz wins in a five-star match, making the losing streak of Jordan Osborne continue. But that also means that Jordan Osborne is the most experienced man in AHEW, because in the because he's now 31 to 9. He's had 40 fights. In the co-main event of Master Martial Arts card before 8,603 fans, Black Oz beat Jordan Osborne by stoppage in the second round. Jordan Osborne's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Black Oz's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight as well. Black Oz, what do you want? Listen, I know I beat Jordan Osborne, but the truth is it could have gone either way. You know what, yeah, I'll let him have a rematch. It was a good piece of business, so why don't we have a rematch on the first week of May? I'll, I'll let it happen. Yeah, alright. Yeah, let's have a rematch. I'm glad you agree. It seems we bring out the best in each other, so I can't wait. Alright, yeah, good idea. Hopefully give him his first win. <clears throat> And here we go with the second to last match of the night. Hulk Hogan versus Baby Bull. Baby Bull must be very mad that he has to face someone like this. Baby Bull is 8-7 and Hulk Hogan being 9-9. Nine nine. 
Will there be a 10 in there? Where? I'm hoping Baby Bull wins. No. Come on, Baby Bull. Baby Bull, yes! I made Baby Bull win! I feel like it would be kind of stupid to have him fight in two matches in a night and not let him win one and not let him win either of them. So there we go. In the co-main event of Matsumar Martial Arts card before 12,615 fans, Baby Bull beat Hulk Hogan by four rounds to zero. Baby Bull's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Hulk Hogan's reputation has suffered after, after failing to finish off an inferior opponent in that fight. Should be, bitch. And here we go with the main event. Just a random match I slapped together. Shawn Michaels versus Jeff Hardy, which is a which is a possible rivalry in the future. Jeff Hardy being nine to four, and Shawn Michaels being four and five to four. Welcome to this press conference for our main event between Jeff Hardy and Shawn Michaels. Jeff Hardy, how do you intend to take that number five spot away from Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels may be, a, may be better than me on paper, but I'm going to crumble that paper up. Shawn Michaels, when somebody wants your spot that badly, what can you do to hang on to it? I have a better record than Jeff Hardy, and this just is going to be another notch on my belt. Dude, you, he, he, has more, he has as many wins as you have matches. We could talk about it all day, but the only thing left now is to see the fight. Why do the audience keep laughing at that? Thanks for attending, and don't forget to buy your ticket for Jeff Hardy vs. Shawn Michaels. I'm hoping Michaels wins. I mean, look at their stats compared to each other. Shawn Michaels is easily better. And here we go. And Jeff Hardy picks up an upset, beating the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. In the main event of the Matt's Martial Arts card before 19,368 fans, Jeff Hardy beat Shawn Michaels by three rounds to zero. Good attendance. Shawn Michaels' profile has, su has suffered considerably after being defeated so easily in that fight. Jeff Hardy's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Dude, Shawn Michaels was better than him in, any in every way. How did he lose every single round? We saw number one. My cat keeps on wanting to come back in my room. I'm going out. The Big Bang Theory is tied with us. Hell yeah, look at all that money! Hillary Guerrero has left Matt's Martial Arts to pursue a career at Squared Circle. With me making everybody's overalls really good, it makes them all greedy, so I have to give them really expensive contracts compared to the couple thousand dollars I used to give them before. Who's this guy? You're not even in my company. We at Squared Circle challenge you to an interpromotional showdown next month. If you if you got any guts, your best will take on our best to prove which brand is better. Oh. All right, all right. You've got until next month to get your act together. We don't want any excuses after we obliterate you. What do you want, Big Bob Orson? Hey, Bulldog, don't you wish more people would like me? I think I'd make a great locker room leader. You know what? Actually, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll approve that. I've got a lot of skills and experience to pass on, so why don't you let me whip the roster into shape? All right, I feel like Gay Troy Lions Lee should do it though. You're 18 and six. Damn. All right, here we are with the biggest show of the series. Actually, we have a packed show. We have Puny Hamster versus Brock Lesnar, Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles, Ronda Rousey versus Giraffe Neck in their final bout. In their final bout, also, middleweight championship, Harry S. Ice versus Randy Orton. In their final bout, once again, Randy Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. And for the first time ever, Detroit Lansley takes on his heart, his toughest competitor yet, Conor McGregor. But we're going to start out with Puny Hamster versus Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar being 13-3 to and Puny Hamster being 10-6. to I'm rooting for Lesnar because I'm pretty sure, yeah, Puny Hamster beat him last time. Well, let's go. And Puny Hamster wins by submission. I'm pretty sure that's the way he made him. T he, he won last time. And so there we go. In the preliminaries of the Matt Martial Arts card before 2,937 fans, Puny Hamster made Brock Lesnar submit in the first round. <laughs> Jesus, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's, Brock Lesnar's skill has risen to 97% after participating in that bout. Puny Hamster's status has not been affected by the result of that fight. Yeah, because you, you already have 100% of everything. 
And here we go with another amazing match. Who won the last ma time they fought? I'm pretty sure they fought, like, last episode, didn't they? Yeah, AJ Styles won. Didn't they fight one more time before? Uh, no, they didn't. Okay. I think they should have, though. No? Okay. Alright, well, I'm rooting for AJ Styles. AJ Styles being 4-4, four four, and Daniel Bryan being 1-2. Not a good record to be here in AHCW with. Here we go. And in a 3-star match, Daniel Bryan beats him, but we here like 5-star matches. 4.5, that's good. Daniel Bryan won both of them. 2-2. Two two. In the preliminaries of the match martial arts card before 5,047 fans, Daniel Bryan made AJ Styles some, uh, be AJ Styles by stoppage in the third round. AJ Styles' rank has fallen to number 4 after losing that fight. Daniel Bryan's rank has climbed to number 4 after winning that fight. Wait, what? I feel like this is going to be our best show, because already we're already beating like a lot of our shows. Women's Championship Match. Ronda Rousey vs. Giraffe Nick. Giraffe Nick beat him the first time, but then Ronda Rousey won the championship the second. Who will win this? And Giraffe Nick gets back the championship from Ronda Rousey! Nice job! We have a new top woman in this ma in this company, but actually, I, I looked at his stats while bringing him back to the company. Giraffe Nick's actually a guy. In the preliminaries of the match martial arts card before 7,431 fans, Giraffe Neck knocked out Ronda Rousey in the second round. Ronda Rousey's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. The Giraffe Neck's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight as well. Dry dinosaur disaster? What do you want? Listen, Bulldog, don't you think it's time I stepped up to the middleweight division? I'm not getting anywhere as a lightweight, but this could be a better fit for my style. Alright, I don't mind. Yeah, you should become a metalweight. Thanks for your support. I'll take some. I'll take some getting used to. It'll take some getting used to, but I know I can make it as a, as a middleweight. All right, I'll, I'll give you some shots. All right. Maybe you'll face the uh, who's my middleweight champion? Oh, Harry S. Ice or Randy Orton? Oh shit! Whoever wins this match will face in a new rivalry, Dinosaur Disaster. So here we go. This is a long-awaited final matchup. Between Harry S. Ice, who is 12-4, versus Randy Orton, who has not won a single match here in EHCW. But can he change that here on the biggest stage of them all? And he does! Randy Orton finally wins the championship from Harry S. Ice in a five-star match. And now Dinosaur Disaster and Randy Orton will face in the next episode. In the co-main event of the Matt's Martial Arts card before 11,415 fans, Randy Orton beat Harry S. Ice by four rounds to one. Harry S. Ice's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Randy Orton's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Your profile should have risen because you finally got a win. And here we go with a very anticipated matchup, Rowan Reigns vs. Bobby Lashley. Roman Reigns lost the first time they faced, but then got back the title the second time, so here's the third. And so Roman Reigns is 6-1, to one, and Bobby Lashley is 20-3. to three. What a record! And Roman Reigns defends the championship successfully from a contender by the name of Bobby Lashley. In the co-main event of the Mass Martial Arts card before 15,745 fans, Roman Reigns knocked out Bobby Lashley in the second round. Roman Reigns' pro progress has, is being hindered by the limitations of Mass Martial Arts. But the top company, you can't get any higher than this. Bobby Lashley's rank has fallen to number three after losing that fight. And here we go with the main event for the lightweight championship. Gay Troy Lyons Lee has not lost his title once yet. But he is facing Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor being 6-3. to three. Oh shit, come on. Welcome to this press conference for our main event between Conor McGregor and Detroit Lions Lee. Conor McGregor, you lost to the last time you fought Detroit Lions Lee. What will be different this time? I'm really not interested in talking about it. I'm going to do all my talking in the ring. After beating Conor McGregor last time, do you expect this result to be any different? 
I'm better than Conor McGregor in every way, so it hardly seems fair this fight is even taking place. I don't know about you, but that's a fight I can't wait to see. Thanks for attending, and don't forget to buy your ticket for Conor McGregor versus Detroit Lions Lee. Detroit Lions Lee is nine to one, and Conor McGregor is six to three. Detroit has more has as many wins as Conor McGregor has matches. Here we go. And Detroit Lions Lee defends the title, becoming undefeated still. To ten and to ten and zero. Oh. That one in there actually was there when you when I first came into the game. So I don't know why. In the main event of the Mats and Martial Arts card for 26,376 fans. Are you serious? Conor McGregor lost to Detroit Lions Lee by DQ in the second round. Detroit Lions Lee's progress is being hindered by the limitations of Mats and Martial Arts. Conor McGregor's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling fight. Oh my god, I'm happy Detroit Lions Lee defended the title. That was good. Whew. Still ahead in the ratings. And how much money are we getting? I lost a bit of money because I had to pay Cena 50k. 180,000? We're at a million! What? Alright. Detroit Lansley feud with Conor McGregor seems to have lost momentum and is no longer over with the fans. Dang it. Alright. Wait, they only had one match! How does that work? Congratulations to Will Dog for becoming a millionaire with an estimated fortune of $1,005,300. Poo Poo has moved on to and down a weight class and will now be competing in the middleweight division of Fighters Web. Oh, this guy is going to be hard to negotiate with. He just lost his title. He's not happy. Oh, boy. I'll do, I'll do what I did with you and Cena. No creative control, though. Fine. This better be what you want. What? You're a former champion. No one cares about you anymore. If you don't want that, I'll give you 75k. Alright, there, there you go. Alright, I can take that contract. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. I like you. How come Conor McGregor earns 19... Uh, wait, 19,000? Is that what it said? No! You're, that's Conor McGregor! He's in the same league as Detroit Lions Lee. He kind of deserves that much. Is he really getting 19,000? Oh, 12,000. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was going to say, if I was getting him 19,000, that's insane. Alright, so for the interpromotional matchup, the way I'd like my titles is I'd like to keep Roman Reigns as champion, Randy Orton, maybe. I'll maybe put the title back on Harry S. Ice. Detroit Lions Lee, I'll keep him. And Ronda... I'll, I'll, probably put, I'll probably keep Giraffe Neck as it, because Monica Marquez lost our thing last time. But anyway, we're going to end the video there. We had a great show last show. Our best show yet. I didn't think we'd be able to beat it. We like For the second last match to the last match, we gained over 10,000 uh, 10, viewers. Almost 11,000. But that was amazing that Detroit Lions League defended his title successfully. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like button with the finisher, then pin it for the one, two, three count. But if you just liked it, please tell me what I can do better in the next video or in the future. And also don't forget to subscribe, become a member of the EHEW universe. And also don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified for all my latest uploads. And bada bang bada boom bye. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!